Hello, this is the last problem of homework 6. So, the tension member is fastened together using two bolts, one each size of the member as shown. Each bolt has a diameter of 0.30 inches. Determine the maximum load P that can be applied to the member if the elbow shear stress for the bolt is sigma allo 12 ksi and then if the elbow shear stress, normal stress, is sigma equals uh, 20 ksi. So first, I'll do my cut. I use this cut here. So here is P. And then here is my N2. Now, the same process that we used, we're going to zoom in in our N2. Here is our 60 degrees. So here is our 60 degrees. Here is our N2. And then our normal according to our cut. That will be here. That will call just N. N1 and here. Where will be our shear? It will call P1. So here is 60. So here is 30 degrees. Now we know here the sum of the forces equals 0. So N2 minus P equals 0. N2 equals P. So now we know that our N1 is the same of N2 times cosine of 30. So our N1 will be P times cosine of 30. And our V1 is N2 times sine of 30. So our V1 equals P times sine of 30. In next slide, we're going to find our stress. We know that our normal stress is equal N1 over area. So we know our N1 is P times cosine 30 is equal our sigma elbow times uh, area. So our P using our normal, sh sh normal stress is equal is uh, maximum normal stress times area over cosine 30. So our P will be 20 KSI times area, 2 times pi over 4 times 0 0.3 square over cosine of 30. Why is 2? Because there are two bolts, one in each, uh, uh, one in each side of the member. So it's why we have 2. So here, our P max using the normal stress is equal 3.26 KIP. Why KIP? Because here is KSI and here is inch square. Now, doing the same process but for my shear stress is equal shear force over area. My shear stress is P1 times sine of 30 is the same as shear times area. So my P here is equal shear stress times area over sine of 30. So we have P equal 12 KSI times 2 
pi over 4 times 0 0.3 square over sine of 30. So here our p value is 3.39 kip. So between this one here and this one here, we're going to choose number one because our P number one is smaller than our P number two. Because if we use the P number two, we're going to exceed the normal stress. So this is the last homework of uh, last problem of homework six.